Guys, gals, non-binary pals, it's me. I don't know who else you would have expected, but it's me. I'm here. So there's a new Nintendo Direct today, and there's a PlayStation State of Play as of September 14th, 2023. If you're watching this five years from now, then I ain't got nothing for you. Um, so there's a new uh, Nintendo Direct. So we're going to go, uh, we're going to watch it live. We're going to react live just like I did with the last one. I had fun with doing that. Didn't get a lot of views, but, you know, whatever. Let's do it for fun. So let's start it up. I'm not going to go over every game. If there's something I'm simply completely uninterested in, it's going to skip by that because I don't want to just watch the whole thing and react to the whole thing. I am going to watch the whole thing and react to the whole thing, but I'm going to cut out the boring parts. That's what I'm saying, okay? All right, let's start. All right, here we go. It's indirect, direct. Um, I've been working all day. I have not looked at uh, spoilers. I've been avoiding the old... X slash Twitter. Um, I want Spoutable too. Instagram and stuff. Okay. Number one, Splatoon. This must be more DLC for Splatoon 3, I would gather. The interesting music. I don't think this is new. I think this is uh, the DLC they showed off before, because I remember some of these scenes. They seem vaguely familiar. However, it's kind of weird. They're just... There's no talking or anything. It's just... It's kind of weird music and <laughs> there's some dialogue on the screen, obviously. Anyways, this is Splatoon 3 DLC. I do like Splatoon 3. My daughter really loves Splatoon 3. I do like it. These hit points on the screen. That's... I think that's new, right? Like, Splatoon doesn't do that normally. Or, I, I'm not a Splatoon expert. Maybe it does. I don't know. I right, expansion pass. I despise expansion passes. I despise seasons. Side order. I do like the visual effects here. How it's definitely different than what they've done in the past. Oh, hello. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today. Oh, it's not going to do the snap thing that they did last video. Oh, okay. So it's like a this single player DLC so it can be played. Yeah, like a tower, you know, like World of Warcraft has multiple towers. You know, you get as far as you can go, you probably die, you have to start over and then you get a little further next time. Like a roguelike sort of thing. That's what it sounds like. Oh, there we go. There's the snap. The toys are back in town. Oh, we've seen this one before. This isn't new. Yeah, this is we've seen this somewhere. I forget where. The rivalry that heated up on the Game Boy Advance system reignites on the Nintendo Switch system. Interesting. With his <laughs> and it's up to Mario to Thief. track him down. Get him, bust him. Monkey so it's not really like a platformer. It's like a, I I vaguely remember this game. It's it's not a platformer. It's more you, you know you got to think right. Like it's a now he can get a thinking game, a brain game. And safely grab the key. Oh, they're so cute. Donkey Kong head on. In this updated version of the game, you can play with a friend oh. in local co-op. Nice. However you choose to Only two player? Through, it's today Interesting. on Nintendo eShop. My kids might like it. Save the Prince, Prince of Persia. The world. This actually looks... Pretty cool. It's definitely different than what most people expected when they first announced the this. Balance. So there is a lot of negativity Tapping around it. The Prince of Persia series. And this a lot of people, you know, do want a remake of the old Sands of Time game. And they're not going to do it, apparently. This is what we're going to get. But that doesn't mean this is going to be bad or anything. It, it looks pretty good. As well as time powers to best these hostile lands is limited though so choose wisely that's cool different Use weapons swords bows navigate this harsh world chimeras beat the mythical beast cobras in your way get ready to save the prince and discover the split dudes of Malkath. when prince of persia the lot you i should make a bingo card for next one pre-order bonus Ching. for true arcade racing in horizon chase 2 Horizon chase Speed 2 i love arcade racers way more than sim racers way more so this definitely could be fun as long as the control is good i can't tell how good the control is from a trailer 
Full player, frame rate's not that good though. I mean, it looks cool, but it doesn't. There's nothing unique in there that you don't see in 50 other racing games nowadays. Super crazy rhythm castle. Your button presses with the music to solve puzzles and battle bosses. Over 30. Oh, it's a Konami thing. Up to four friends can battle it out in versus modes or jam together. Konami's really uh. Like, they really ruined themselves for years, and now they're really trying to get back in the good graces of, you know, the gamer universe, whether that works or not. I don't know. Mario's first RPG adventure Ice. Returns. We know about this from the last Direct, obviously. The Super Mario RPG game is back that was a huge surprise at the last Direct. And Let's go over some new and returning game it's players. amazing. I'm going to love it. Uh, it's a time day one get for me. To oh yeah, the time to tax. Oh, I love this game. Perfectly, you can now damage all enemies at once. Oh, that's cool. Every successful action command will fill this gauge. I was wondering what that gauge was. Unleash the three character triple move. Oh, nice. Combo. Oh, they're so cute. I love it. Oh, I love this game so During much. During your adventure, you'll encounter bosses with colorful personalities. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. But these powered-up bosses aren't going to be easy. Oh. Nice. So it's like a boss attack. You beat him once and you can do like a boss attack Set sort of thing. Adventure with Mario and friends. When Super Mario RPG launches November on the 17th, Switch system, I'll be there. 17th. I will be there. Pre-orders are available we'll now. We'll do some videos. Oh Nintendo man. Shop. It's going to be so good. I love that game. One of the best uh, RPGs of all uh, time. Uh, Look alive. We're almost there. What is this? A visual uh, novel. The Nintendo DS game Trace Memory returns. Oh, I remember this. I, I never played it. it it's not necessarily my type day, of game, but I do know of it. A letter from the and I do know people that liked it. Away. So I'm happy for them. Answers. You can be happy for other for people, you know, even though Edward it might not be something you're interested in. I'm Once still happy there, for the people that this is for. And that hinder her oh, maybe I will like this. I love the Professor Layton games. Maybe I... It's not a visual novel-ish. Full story. Unravel both adventures. Fully enhanced. It actually looks Switch. pretty cool. Well, like I said, I, I love the Professor Layton games. I have all of them. Pre-orders begin um, today. They're right Nintendo up my alley. Shop. Like they make me feel smart, and I love the puzzles. Another Maybe cool I should try that. Includes two games. Uh, this must be the Princess Peach game. They did a quick teaser of. The last direct, maybe they'll show more of it now. Toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Yeah, this is the Peach game. Princess Peach, and so which it is what it is, it might not be for me, but, then... but you know, it's for somebody. The wicked grape and the sour bunch suddenly made their grand <laughs> the wicked grape. Center is that what this is? Princess Peach Showtime. Princess Peach Showtime. Like I said, Switch, man, not for March me. 22nd. I don't know. Detective Pichachu, you know. We'll see. <laughs> A new saga no. Begins. No. 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 A multi-layered RPG no. full of rich stories awaits in Saga Emerald Beyond. I, there there's a story. To choose from. I have a bad history with, a young man fights with uh, Saga weapons. Frontier on the PlayStation. So Saga triggers me, saying Saga triggers me, okay? A crime fighting but duo I'll give it a chance. A mysterious see. organization. A songstress mech who lost her voice and body. Awaken. See you, goodness. Select a hero, then follow their journey through 17 interconnected worlds as they hmm. strive to achieve their goals. Is it a role-playing game? I can't How the story tell. Is in your is franchise. A... I, I don't know. Fight in timeline battles. Turn-based combat in which turn order is crucial to victory. Saga Emerald Beyond launches on know. Nintendo Switch next year. Like I said, I've had... The Saga franchise is triggering to me. The Legendary Raider oh. returns. Uh, a remake? Three, remaster? Games, oh, one through three. Nice. Switch in one Man, when I was a teenager, collection. these came out. Tomb Raider has a special place in my heart. The old Tomb Raiders? 
That's pretty cool. Oh, you get look how blocky it is. Yeah, it's <laughs> this is the light remaster. This is a very light remaster. Spanning different countries and mythologies. There we go. Along the way. I mean, you could definitely tell a lot of things are better, but you could also tell that a lot of things are not, but all three of them on one cart, that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. You can also toggle between the original polygon look and the upgraded visuals at any time. Nice. Tomb Raider 1 a lot of games are doing that nowadays. February next year, that's cool. Launches on the I'll definitely get that. Uh, I probably won't be... It's not exclusive to the Switch, so I'll probably get it on something else. But it's pretty cool. It's the first I've heard about it. This game's a real toot. What? <laughs> okay. Is this Wii music but on the Switch or something? Because you know that was super popular with music. Trombone champ. Play the notes in time with the music as best you can. Okay. But how you play that horn is up to you. The Guitar Hero? Does it come with a trombone? No. You, you just use the, controls to use the use the Wii, not the Wii mode, the Joy-Con. Sorry. I, and mastering every. I don't know. This looks like a tech demo. I can't imagine this being a full priced game. Hmm. Core player is is cool, but again. Trombone champ slides onto Nintendo. Okay, it's it's like a it's like a downloadable game. It's probably not that much money. Battle your way to victory in these Doesn't have a logo? Oh, it's multiple games. The heck, Fortnite? Ten teams of three will oh. duke it out for survival <laughs> in this online battle royale brawler. Mm. Battle Knock your crush. Health down to zero and deliver a finishing blow. That's a pretty cool mythology. gimmick. The terrain Work falls apart, sort of, almost like a battle ro royale where you know Fortnite or whatever, where the arena gets smaller and smaller. A MOBA like this, where it gets smaller and smaller too. This October. They didn't really say MOBA though, so it's not super clear, cool, but whatever. Contra? That's the Contra logo. The beloved NES classic, Contra. Uh, what do you mean reimagining? No. Arsenal of weapons to crush the red no. Spring into action with well, you are reimagining the original Contra with crappy 2.5D bad graphics. From Konami and Wake really? Features new weapons, enemies, powerful super attacks. Right, I'm, I'm, four player I'm a Contra mode. fan. I played Contra, Contra. Nintendo Operating Super C Luka. back in the day. Storms I was a, the obviously Switch a huge fan. They're early next year. pretty amazing games. That's a, that's a weak remake right there. Claim your destiny. Tis a grievous tale which speaks of Feverth. One of stolen destiny, stolen it's Final Fantasy Tactics esque looking people. They got little yeah, noses. The world little noses. By immense evil. The animation looks cool. Looks like a vanilla wear game. Ring of the unicorn, it's got that weird animation style they do. I, it's not weird. I, I don't know the official term for it. There's a term for it. Okay. The strategy game. Yeah, I would be. This looks like a vanilla game. I would be. Does it say anywhere on the screen? No. It's a strategy game. I don't do much strategy games, so it definitely looks cool. The graphic style and everything looks baller. It almost looks like Dragon Force a little bit. Except there's not big armies. Ooh, jiggly food. But I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled. Atlas and Vanillaware. Vanillaware, what did what did I say? What, what did I say? Unicorn Overlord. Unicorn Overlord? Available That's an interesting March name. 2024. I don't I did, was there a unicorn in there that I missed? This is This is Luigi's Mansion. This is the uh must be the part two, Dark of the Moon. The remaster. We have seen this one before, or heard about this one. Luigi's yep. Mansion 2 HD. Oh yes, 
It's gonna come out before Halloween. Welcome to the last Halloween country. was the Halloween I played Luigi's Mansion Luigi, 3 faint of heart on the Switch. Sent here it to check it out. Amazing game. Absolutely amazing game. Time for some mansion mayhem. Yeah, I never played this one. Obviously, I played the first one on the GameCube, GameCube launch title, and made the launch <laughs> one a, a pretty good launch, single-handedly. And then three, like I said, I played three last Halloween. I've never played this one. I skipped it. So I, I am excited to get Can into Luigi this for sure. His courage and save the day and do oh, four-player online. Multiplayer modes. That's interesting. Luigi's Mansion 2 nice. HD creeps onto Nintendo When is it coming out, though? Next summer. Oh, next summer? That's a ways away. I was hoping for this Halloween. Next. 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 Mario? What's that? It's a large question block. I don't know, it's Actually, a question block on a building roof. Currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction mm. in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. Oh, nice. That's going to be a popular place. Construction is going well. Plan to finish up by March 2024. I really like the Zelda the figure. Zelda and Ganondorf amiibo figures November 3rd? I dig that Zelda, for sure. I said that at the last, uh, figures of Noah last direct. And Neo from the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game are to oh. announce... Smash Brothers? The DLC fighter from Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Oh, Sora. Sora nice. Kingdom Hearts I love Kingdom Hearts. One of my favorite franchises of all Sora, time. Everyone is here I, Super someday Smash I will Ultimate do a video about it. Form. Someday. Please look forward to its release next year. Mute. F Zero, new F Zero. I'm not a big F Zero fan. It was always too hard for me. I was. Oh, it's not a new F Zero. It's like Mo one of those '99 games, like Tetris '99, Mario '99. Was there more? Pac-Man '99, something like that. I don't know. So I mean, this is great for F Zero fans. Your power meter will Beautiful. decrease if you crash into pilots or guardrails. I never Every liked F Zero that much. It was just too hard for me when I was a kid. When it was out, my race, futuristic racing game of choice, as I said, it, as I've said before in other videos, is probably Wipeout. Wipeout, Wipeout XL, in the 32-bit era. You can also Those were my jams. Super sparks, which appear when machines collide. It's your best chance at bypassing your That's cool. and jumping uh, into a higher position. That wasn't in the original, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not an F-Zero expert. But I know, I know there's F-Zero fans out there, right? That want a new game. New, new game. And maybe this is the testing ground, right? If this does good, maybe you'll get a full one again someday. So I wish you luck. If you're an F-Zero fan, I wish you luck. Oh, free download later today. That's pretty ballin'. More than 30 years after its original release, F-Zero is back as a battle royale game. All right, we've seen this before. This is WarioWare. Um, it's gonna be awesome. WarioWare's fun. My son loves uh, the WarioWare games, the ones that he's played, the demos that he's played and everything. So it's gonna be a cool game for sure. As long as there's not too much, you know, doing this. As quick as you can. A heroic tale will soon mm, unfold. Interesting. Lead an army of over 100 heroes into oh. battle and put an end I know to what this empire's is. invasion. A Yudin? I've seen this somewhere before. Because I do like the pixel art. I really like the pixel art. And Marissa, a forest guardian. These three band together to fight for a common goal. As allies join you, additional facilities will become available. This is it. This You'll is Sweet Coden. Open shops and I, I didn't know it's it gonna be exactly like Sweet Code in own backstory <laughs> and motivation. Get back into the groove. Oh, this is cool. In this sequel to War Groove, War Groove? I've never heard of that. It, three I'm, it looks like advanced wars. Factions, like the style of it. Faction, Obviously not the substance, but this Plus, style looks just like advanced wars. Groove to unleash devastating attacks. Man, there's so many strategy games coming out nowadays. I wish I was 
smarter <laughs> and, and likes them a lot. I do like them, but uh, some of them just a little too much for me. Giant blue hole. Dive and catch fish by day. Then serve them as sushi by night. And the aquatic adventure, Dave the Diver. Dave the Diver. Okay. Use Sounds like, like an interesting premise. And create the day's menu. What Find the heck? Best ingredients and strive to what exceed the? culinary what? expectations. Are you going to cut the mermaid Dave man the up? Launches and serve him to the your guests? On the Nintendo Switch system October 26th. Oh, the final in. wave. The last four tracks. Wave six, the final wave of the Mario Kart nice. Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. At the next, last From direct, the they showed Kart off game, Daisy the last pack More before it came out. Characters are also being added in wave six. Oh, Diddy From Kong. Mario oh, the Kart characters too, the last game. characters. Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong. From Mario Kart Funky Wii. Kong. Funky Kong. Hmm. Interesting choice. The Pauline. Game, Pauline. Mayor Pauline. And also Peachette. Peach <laughs> I I don't know who Peachette is. Sorry, someone leave me a comment telling me who Peachette is. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They didn't show off the tracks. So. Oh, me and my kids love playing us. Among Us. We love it. So what is this? Are they crash landing somewhere? New. New levels? Don't touch your eyeball. Holy smokes. Where are these mushrooms coming from? <laughs> that guy didn't make it, sorry. Red is sus. Oh, he did make it. He's still sus. All right, new map. Awesome. New tasks. The heck? Welcome to the fungal. All right, Among this Us is awesome. For Among so Us is free that's exciting. Let's take a look. All right, so no more new announcements. These are just games we know that are coming out. So DLC, Pikmin One and Two. Detective Pikachu, Mario Brothers Wonder, obviously that was a big one from the last direct. Warrior Wear, Pooping Out Eggs, that's the one I want. The new racers. More DLC. Honestly, it's weird that they recap stuff they just told us. Next video will be our last announcement. Last announcement? It's gonna be the big one then. Is this a reveal of some sort? More Mario. Wow, it's like the year of the Mario. Well, they already showed off. Oh, is this paper? This is a paper Mario. Wait, this. Is... <sighs> Hold on. This is another remake. Rogue Port. This is a oh, thousand year door. This is the uh, the GameCube one. Thousand year door. I played this from start to finish with my kids, and they absolutely love it. They actually asked me to replay it again. For them so they can watch because they loved it so much. This is Thousand Year Door. This is a... What the heck is Nintendo doing? They're remaking Mario RPG this year and Thousand Year Door? Remaster. Not remake. Remaster. I don't know. <laughs> One of those two. I know someone in real life who looks like that lady. <laughs> By the way. Yep, I remember... I remember all this. This... I have such good memories of this game. Because I played it originally when it first came out. Amazing. But I played it again to sh introduce my kids to the series, to the games, and they absolutely loved it. So it's super special to me because it was an experience that I had with my, my kids. And uh, man, this is going to be... My son is going to flip out when he hears this because he asked me to replay this game all the time. He's going to be so excited. Oh, I remember that. All of this. So good. Yep. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Oh! Oh! I'm so happy. That's so cool. Oh, the robot. What was his name? What was his name? I forget. <laughs> yes, I remember this.
such a good game. This is not till next year. That's okay. Space them out a little bit, please. Thank you. All right, well, that was a pretty cool direct. There was not a lot of new stuff. There was mainly just touching up, you know, we'll get into the holiday season. So they just want to show out, get you excited for some stuff, probably coming out this holidays, early next year, you know what I mean? But man, oh man, that the, the big one at the end, a thousand year door, that obviously won the show for sure. I'm not super excited about uh, a lot of the other stuff, DLC and stuff like that. I don't necessarily get super excited about that unless I'm super invested in the game. But, you know, it was a cool direct. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. Showed off cool stuff. And man, Thousand Year Door, that's what it's about. All right, guys, gals, non-binary pals, thanks for watching with me again. Please, let me know what you thought of the direct. Down there. Down there somewhere. All right, peace out.